Don't have to remove your weapons. I'm a Mandalorian. Weapons are part of my religion. If you're a bounty hunter, commercial space travel is not good for business, and you're going to need your own ship. My name is Eric Stribble. I'm an industrial designer. Welcome to my channel about product design and making. Alfred Backpack Hanger in stainless steel and aluminum, designed by me, holds your backpack, lets you charge your phone, hold your keys. Super versatile. So I'm packing up some here that were recently sold. Thanks for those of you who've purchased recently. It really helps support the channel. In case you've been living under a rock, this is Din Djarin. He is a Mandalorian bounty hunter in the Star Wars universe, and he has a problem. Ready to have your mind blown? In case you don't know or you haven't figured it out yet, the poor guy doesn't have his own mode of transportation and needs a new ship. Where's the Razor Crest? Previously, he'd been rocking a ship he called the Razor Crest. Well, this ship had room for all of his gear, even though it was a little worse for wear. But it was his home on his adventures. It even had an evacuation port, as well as room for all his gear and his bounties. Well, that sucks. His ship got blown up. <laughs> In the book of Boba Fett, he's able to secure a new ship. He puts out the word and Pelimoto gets him a new ship. He thinks he's going to be getting another Razor Crest. Instead, he gets basically a single seat and one Starfighter. This was originally introduced in The Phantom Menace, and we see Anakin fly it around in that movie. Now, the ship was designed by Doug Chang. He's the head industrial designer for all of Star Wars, pretty much, and has been designing since the original trilogies, and then some. His name is on everything. You want to check out his book, Mechanica, which I own. I think it's pretty cool. Link in the description below. Not a gram of fat honor. You know, no one's catching you in this thing. That may be true, but there's a huge caveat that goes along with that statement. Do you know how lucky you are that I got my hands on this baby? You want to thank me now or you want to thank me later? If you get me a razor, crest, you can have it right back. Mandalorian's clearly not thrilled with this ship. It's not what he's used to. In life, you deal with the hand that's dealt to you. And Din's no dummy. He knows that if somebody comes along and gets you an exotic ship, well, you're going to roll with it. You got options at that point. This thing is essentially a street rod. It's basically a race car with guns on it. It's not turning over. Give it a little bit more juice. I love the sound design here of all the retro sounds. Listen to this V8. Yeah, I really like the design of this ship, but it's basically a hot rod and doesn't even qualify as a grocery getter. It's a gong skunk jack. Dang, Eric, she's fast. Smooth. Let's break down this little ship conundrum and apply a little bit of design thinking and I'll let you know why his ship is just not appropriate for his situation. Up until now, he's been traveling the galaxy in the Razor Crest. It's essentially an AC-130 gunship, King of the Sky, or an RV space camper for all of his stuff. You're used to a gunship, but she's a starfighter. So here's the whole problem with this starfighter. The Mandalorian uses defensive battle tactics. His armor can repel blaster fire. It's made from Beskar. It can't even be cut by a lightsaber. 
Previously, he had amassed a large vault of handheld weaponry. Where is he going to store that gear in a little ship like this? He even used to have carbonite freezing capabilities. Where is he going to put his captured bounties in this little ship? What is he going to do when he has to go across the galaxy and he wants to sleep? He can't lay down in this thing and take a nap, maybe in the seat, and he definitely can't have five minutes alone and take a dump in this thing like he could in the Razor Crest. He's going to need something else going forward. Now, fortunately, it's small enough that it could fit inside of a much larger ship, so he could rebuild his arsenal and take this ship along with him on his missions when he needed some special tactical advantages. Now, there is a possibility, because this ship is pretty exotic and kind of special, that he could trade it in or trade up into a bigger ship that would be a lot more suitable. What happened to the droid port? I hogged it out. You know, I figured with your disposition, you'd want to forego the astromech. <laughs> Then there's the whole flying with friends Grogu thing. The old droid port is barely big enough for Grogu. Certainly no other human could fit in there. It's essentially a rumble seat or a mother-in-law seat. And he's lucky that he even has that in this ship. This ship is just not going to work for future no. bounty hunting missions. All right, but this is the last time. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. Make sure to hit the bell so you get notifications every time I have a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Links in the description below and on the channel page. Rock on. Don't forget to check out the t-shirts and hoodies in the merch shelf below. Click here to check out some of the other design and making videos that I have that you might enjoy.